Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Welcome to Bryant-Denny Stadium, home of the Crimson Tide. This place is charged up and ready for a big game today. But this contest is not a regular matchup, a battle of two top tens. Two forces colliding, one team leaves here, making a resounding statement. As we'll see the number one team in the country, the Georgia Bulldogs, taking on the sixth ranked team in the land, the Alabama Crimson Tide. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, here in the booth with Kirk Herbstreet. I think we've talked long enough, Kirk. Let's get this game going. Alabama will kick it off to get us underway. And it comes out of the 25. No return attempted there. So the Georgia Bulldogs offense comes on the field first today. And here comes that star wide receiver. Certainly one of the focal points of the offense. One of the best in college football. He has that kind of, yeah, I'm him aura. I'm the best player on the field. The field, but this guy crawled out of the bed, thought he was the best. He's confident, but he carries it as a guide for his team. It gives them confidence because they know that when he's great, they have a chance to win every game. Listen to the crowd energy here in the early going. This is a tough, tough environment for visitors. We'll try the ground game here with the running back. Hat on a hat up front. Good job of opening up the holes. Anytime you can get positive yards on first down, that's a win. The game makes it second and medium. Gonna run it. It's ETN. Catch May, but the defense gobbles him up for just a short game. Third down after that running play. They'll try to run for the first down. Brought down, but it's past the line to game. Boy, an opportunity missed here by this defense. They get him to third down. They load up the line of scrimmage, but they could not deny this back of coming up with that conversion. Caught in the backfield. It's Robinson. They get him down quickly. Not much of a gain on that completion. Hey, it's a game, but you get the sense that this offense wanted a little bit more from that play. It's a draw play. A change of direction. And he's brought down, but there is a penalty marker out there. Let's check out this call. So the holding penalty in the offense backs him up 10 yards. Now it's second down here. Off the play fake, looking to throw the football. Grab down the middle, it's Bell. They make the tackle there, but a penalty marker is on the field. Let's see what that's about. Offense will have to overcome the holding penalty now. Getting set. Here's second down. Ending off on the draw play. They bring him down. That's a very solid game, but still well short of the first down. The draw is a good way to keep the defensive line in check and use their aggressiveness against them. It can be real effective, even in passing situations, if you mix it in correctly. Looking for a deep completion. And the pass is dropped. Would have been a big game, but he couldn't hold on. Boy, this is all about the defense here. Nice stop here on third down, but really it's about trying to get this offense behind the sticks. Once you get him behind the sticks, you can mix up your coverages, really affect the quarterback's eyes and disrupt the timing and the rhythm of what the offense is trying to do. Now we've got another big fourth down coming up. So Alabama's offense comes out for their first possession today. More of this game within the game, Kirk. You got the quarterback and the corner, two of the better guys in the country at their position, very aware of each other. And on the other side, you got a quarterback that has an attitude that he doesn't care. He's confident in his ability to shift and move a defense at will. It's going to be a great matchup. Well, I know people want to talk about the spread, and Alabama's offense has changed over the years, but at the end of the day, with this coaching staff, it still comes down to the line of scrimmage and the ability to pound the rock. Think about the backs they've had in recent years, Mark Ingram and Josh Jacobs. Oh, and he's in the clear now. It's a foot race. Out of bounds, but not before a huge game. Offense gets a fresh set of downs. 
Well, it's one thing to hear about how fast this receiver is in the scouting report. You look at him on film all week. The defense coordinator tells you, get ready, this guy can run. And then the reality comes. And this guy... And that pass rush has trapped him into sack. Man, that's how you respond after giving up such a big play through the air. The next play, you get after the quarterback, make some adjustments, and come up with a nice sack. Tackle down at the three-yard line after an excellent run. Well, this is exactly what you want to see as an offense to open up a football game. Everything seems to be working, whether they're running the football, as we saw right there, able to protect, throw the football with timing and rhythm, everything on full display for this offense to let this defense know they can fight his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Crimson Tide. Chris, we get so caught up in this era of the spread, of throwing the football and the quarterback and the receivers. This is a great example of the value of having a running back that has a nose for the end zone and can take it in for a touchdown. So they'll try to add to the lead now with a PAT. And it's 7-0 after the PAT. Now the kickoff team is out on the field. And so it'll be a touchback. Ball spotted at the 25. And the Georgia offense is back out on the field. The last time they were forced to punt it away. Can they get points out of this possession? And looking to throw now on first down. It's a short completion to the big tight end. And they get him down after the completion. That completion sets up a second down play. They'll run it from the gun. The stop made at the 45, but enough for a first down. Well, just a great play by the running back here. Just finding his lanes and exploding through the gap when it opened up. On first and ten, looking to throw. And the defender gets a hand in there to break the pass up. In college football today, the quarterbacks get rid of the ball often so fast that this is a great example for young players on the defensive line. If you can't get to the quarterback, watch their eyes and try to get your hands up so when the ball comes, you can knock it away. The tackle is made, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see what that's about. It stings for the offense. Penalty will cost him 10 yards. Important second down play coming up. Back to pass. It's back. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. See if the offense can overcome that holding penalty. Here's the second down play. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw it. Looking for the wide out. Oh, and it's dropped. Nearly intercepted by an excellent defender. Don't see that very often. A tough situation for the offense. Third and long from their 25. Let's see if the defense brings some heat here. Here's the snap, looking to throw. And he'll loft this one deep to the left side. And it's picked off. That was a risky pass attempt, and he paid the price. Not just the pick, but a big return sets up the offense in good position. It's third and long, so as an offensive coordinator, you can either play it conservative or trust your quarterback and take a shot downfield. They elect the latter, and it ends up backfiring. Comes the Alabama offense onto the field. Her last possession was a beautiful, balanced touchdown drive. Can the defense come up with answers this time? First play of the drive, looking to throw the football. Caught behind the line. It's Haynes. He's found some room at the 45. Breaks into the clear. It's a sprint. Touchdown, Alabama. Strong game by this quarterback. 
Chris, how dangerous is this offense? You know, of course, you know about the receivers, those vertical shots, but here's an example. You give the ball to the running back out in space, takes it all the way to the end zone for a touchdown. And now the try here for the extra point. With the PHC, they take a 14-0 lead. Kickoff team on the field getting set now. They'll return it from inside the five. And the returner will be brought down. And the Bulldogs offense is back out on the field. We'll see if this quarterback can shake off the interception he threw in the last possession. Off the play fake on first down. Tries the right with a quick throw. Wow, lays out and makes a spectacular catch. First and ten now for the offense. It's a shotgun run call. And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? Motion now from the tight end. Running game is working. They'll stick with it on first down. Makes the catch for the defense. Breaks in the ball, and it's a short game. Second down after that run on the previous play. To throw, it's back. From the pocket, delivers over the middle. He stopped just short of that first down marker, inches away from it. Offense needing to keep this drive alive. It's a third down play. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. And the sophomore making an impact play. Chris, you don't see this very often. Third down in inches, and they decided to throw the football. I mean, they had inches to go, but instead, they throw the ball, and it cost them some big yards, and now it's fourth down. The Dogs will bring their punt team on the field now. They're going to kick it away for the second time. Not what he was hoping for. Instead of pinning the offense deep, it's a touchback. The guys up front lined up. It's first down. First play of the drive. They look to the right. They bring him down, but that's a solid gain on the play. First down here for this offense. Quick pass. Here comes a jet sweep. Running past the 45. He's brought down, but there is a flag on the field. Let's check out this call. And the head coach will decide to accept the penalty and take the yardage. So far, this has been a battle on the ground. They've completed the first quarter, and the run game has dominated. And as we flip the field and begin quarter number two, we'll see if they can continue to build this lead. Back at it to start the quarter. Offense getting set to run a first down play. Using his legs, it's Haynes. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. That back just had nowhere to go. Got to give credit to the defense and their run fits on that play. Quarterback wants to throw it on second down. And a senior making a disruptive impact play. So after consecutive losses, they got to come up with something here on third and very long. The pocket breaking down. Pressure comes, and once again, no escape. 
There's a nice sack by this defense, something that they've been looking for. They've been on their heels most of this football game. That time they were able to get after the quarterback and bring him down. Let's see if that can provide a bit of a spark, see if they can get a little bit of momentum going their way. Special teams on the field now. Here comes a punt. He's got an opening. Watch out. He's got great speed. Finally forced out of bounds, but a solid return that time. And the powerful Georgia offense is back out on the field. Last drive stalled. They were forced to punt it away. Let's see what they can come up with this time. They'll hand it off. Picks up a short game, but his swarm of the defense flying to the football. Second down after that run on the previous play. Hey, listen, you don't always have to have big plays to be successful. It's a nice, solid gain here. Keeps you on schedule, and you get ready for that next play. Tackle made at the 24-yard line. This offense really threatening now. That's an important first down on that running play. Scanning the field. It's back. Looking for his big tight end. That one falls incomplete. Good defensive play. Brings up second down. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out the punishment, but here, he's the one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, he's unable to hold on to the football. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Not going to be easy here. Backed up a long way to go for a first down. Stops back, looking to throw for it on third down. He cannot escape the defense with a sack. Chris, that's on the offensive line right there. They definitely have to be feeling responsible because it's almost like you didn't protect your little brother back there. Out comes the field goal team to give it a shot. This is a long way out. They're going to trust the kicker from 56 yards out. Let's see if he's got the distance. This try is no good. Still losing by 14 after the miss. Boy, this guy's usually more reliable than this. I thought that was going to be an easy field goal in three points, but instead, he misses, so you walk away with nothing. Quarterback pulls the ball. It's a keeper. And he's got it. Already past the first down marker. They make the stop, but not before a solid gain that time. So the ball placed right at midfield as the offense starts with a first and ten. The quarterback keeps the football. They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. Offense getting set. It's second down. Here's the snap. Looking to throw here. Trying to create outside the pocket now. And he'll step out of bounds after a solid gain on that run. That's what I love about this guy. Just getting good, positive yards here and continue to just keep this drive alive. Offense breaks the huddle and gets set. It's third down. Looking for his big tight end. Doesn't hold on. Good hit by the DB. Now it brings up fourth down. And here comes the punter onto the field. And he'll kick it away now for the second time. And that's a great punt. Goes out of bounds down near the goal line. They'll spot it there. Oh, my gosh, Chris. Are you kidding me? That's how you flip the field in your favor. That's for the brand. What an absolute bomb. And they pin them inside the five-yard line. They pick up four. So second down and six coming up. Chris, it's the consistency of this back is giving this defense fits. They've got to come up with some changes up front. This guy's already over 50 yards, and if he keeps running the way he is, not only is he having a great day, but it's going to give this quarterback a chance to hit some big plays downfield off play action. And wow, listen to this crowd noise. This stadium is vibrating. That's why this is such a tough place for visitors to play. Well, they go to the air to try to pick up this first down, but it just wasn't meant to be. Defense was ready, made sure to force them into this fourth down situation. The dogs will line up to punt it away. He boots it away from inside his own end zone. Returner brought down, sets up the next drive. So here comes the Alabama offense back onto the field. 
They're trying to build on their lead. They were forced to punt on the last possession. Quarterback leaves the pocket on the move now. That's reeled in. It's Henderson. And they've got him. Man-to-man -man coverage. You run the drag route. You prefer to get the ball downfield. But the matchup called for at least some positive yards underneath. And he makes a nice throw. Breaks loose at the 40. They tackle him, but the game moves the ball to the 36. These are the kind of plays that keep defensive coordinators up at night. You spend so much time putting your plan together to stop the pass, and then nobody accounts for the quarterback on a run. Oh, and it's dropped by an excellent defensive player. A chance at a takeaway got away from him. Don't see that often. Offense lines up for a second down play off the incompletion. Grab behind the line. It's Haynes. And he's tackled for a loss after the catch. The defense all over that one. Offense sets the formation. It's third down. They snap it. Quarterback looking to throw the ball. He's going to pull it down and run. That's a nice scramble there. A big gain, but not enough for the first down. And a timeout is called to talk strategy. Close game here as we approach halftime. The decision is not to go for it on fourth down. Here comes the field goal team. And that one is no good. Off the miss, the lead is still 14, a two-possession game. Fresh set of downs for the offense. First down. Back to throw. It's Beck. Quick throw to his receiver. Oh, it's dropped off the tip by the defense there. It's going to bring up second down. Here's the snap. Quarterback drops back. Cannot escape that ferocious pass rush. It's a sack. Defense are going to keep the pressure up on this third down. He hands it off from the gun. Defense stops him short of the marker. So now it's fourth down. And the Bulldogs will line up to punt it away. And the coverage team gets the returner to the ground. So the offense looking to be efficient here. Not much time remaining before the end of the half. Looking to throw it on first down. Airing this one out toward the sideline. And it's incomplete with just two seconds remaining. You know, I, I like the quarterback's patience here. And instead of trying to force the issue and squeeze the ball into coverage, he just decides to just basically throw it away and live for the next down. Defense spends their second timeout to try to regroup. And the offense just takes a knee here. The Meadows going to wrap up the first half here. Let's kick it now to Kevin Connors with our halftime update. Gentlemen, what else is new? A spirited environment there in Tuscaloosa. And it's been said football is a game of inches. And guess what? Based on the comparison between third down conversion rate today and the average yard per play, how can you argue that? I mean, the low-lying fruit is to look at some of the explosive plays we've seen in panic. But really, this game is going to come down to which team is more efficient when they have the ball and how they play when it matters most. That said, let's get back to the field and our guys in the booth to start the second half. All right, Kevin, thank you for the update. The Bulldogs will kick it deep to begin the second half. And he's going to bring this out from a couple yards deep in the end zone. And he stopped at the 18. Returner trying to make a play, but a touchback would have been a better idea. Alabama's offense coming back onto the field. Already a two-possession lead here. Let's see if they continue to call it aggressively and try to put this defense in a bigger hole. Makes a quick catch. They bring him down after a short gain there. Second down play coming up for this offense. 
from the shotgun, an inside handoff. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Well, they run it right into a blitz, and that linebacker was coming downhill, Kirk. Man, what a time to call that blitz here by the defensive coordinator. And you're right, he shoots right through that A-gap. Really, the back had nowhere to go. By the time he got the ball in his hands, the linebacker's right in his face. Alabama getting set with a first and 10 coming up. Again, thrown out of the RPO, and it's complete. Heads out of bounds as a short gain on the play. Just a good job here by the quarterback. Got the ball out to his receiver. His guy eats up some yards. They stay ahead of the sticks. Scanning the field. It's Milrow. On the run, he'll let it go. And it's incomplete on the overthrow. Just too much on that ball. After the incompletion, they'll come to the line with third and one. Can he get there on the ground? Fights through a tackle. And this offense picks up the first down. They tackle him at the 44. This Alabama offense is moving quickly down the field. First down, we're going to throw the ball. And he's going to fling it deep, going for it all here. Tried to press the ball deep, but it's incomplete. Love this aggressive mindset from the quarterback and offensive coordinator. Found the matchup that you wanted, take a shot downfield. You don't hit it, but you made the defense be aware of it. And he's brought down, but there is a penalty marker out there. Let's check out this call. Will that holding penalty be a drive killer? What's the play call here on second down for this offense? Hand it off for a draw. Defense stops him, but that's a solid game. Eighth play of the drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Quarterback looking to connect with the receiver here. Looking to scramble now. And he's brought down, but hold on, there's a flag on the play. Obviously, the defense will decline that penalty on the offense and take the result of that play. Coach electing to go for a field goal attempt. And he makes it. Wow, from 55 yards out. Boy, this guy had plenty of leg here, too. Chris, you remember the days when a kick from 50-plus was a major accomplishment? Now these guys knock these out like they're almost automatic. So after adding to this big lead, they'll set to kick it away. And he'll just take a knee. Drive will start at the 25-yard line. And the Georgia offense is back out on the field. They were held to a quick three and out last time, looking to put together a positive drive here. Shotgun formation. Here's an inside handoff. Breaking free at the 35. Tackle, but first down. Sometimes I almost get mesmerized watching these runners who have great vision. You know, the eyes that carry their feet to the open space, making people miss. I just love watching those guys do work. Well. Offense getting set. Second down play here. To the air. It's back. That's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact. No flag brings up third down. Urgency now for the offense. They'd hate to come up empty on this drive down multiple scores. And he'll drop back here on third down. This one's going to fall incomplete. Brings up fourth down. Well, these guys just continue to struggle throwing the football. You know, whether it's been running the wrong route, the quarterback not being accurate, the offensive line not doing their job, it's been a collective effort, and it's a big reason why they're trailing now in this game. Here comes the Crimson Tide offense onto the field. They were fortunate to get points on the last possession because of a long-range field goal. Tackle made on the play at the 29-yard line. You know, offensive linemen are just a certain breed. They're always going to do their job, no matter who's back there carrying the ball. I'll tell you what, they have a little bit more confidence when the person that's carrying the ball can break off some big-time runs. That makes them block just a little bit harder, knowing what he's potentially capable of doing.
After a first down loss, it's second and long from their 25. Shotgun formation. Here's an inside give. And they're able to get him down. That run sets up a critical third down play. Receiver in motion now. They flip it to him on the jet sweep. They make the tackle there, but a penalty marker is on the field. Let's see what that's about. Costly holding penalty there. Backs him up 10 yards. Offense facing a third and long from the 28. Got to have your pass protection in order on this play. To throw, it's Milrow. Lofting it toward the left sideline. The ball is picked off. Big takeaway, now looking for a big return. That's a potential game changer, the pick and the big return. What a play by the defense. Really, the only way they can get back into this game is to create a turnover. They get an interception, and they're in business. This line getting set up. It's a first down play. Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. That's a nice wrap up there by the junior. Nice solid run here by this back. Did a nice job of just kind of finding that lane. Pick up some positive yards there on first and ten. It's a quick grab. That's a quick tackle, but they pick up solid yardage on that short throw. So here we go now, third and short from the opponent's 24-yard line. What will the offense choose to do at this point? Looking to pick up the first down through the air. Grab behind the line, it's ETN. Finally marked out after a big game, but hold on. There's a penalty marker on the field. Let's check this out. Costly hold, nullifies the play, backs him up 10 yards. Third down play for this offense. Dropping back, we're going to throw for the first down. Can't find anybody on third down, throws it away, and now fourth down coming up. So now on fourth down, out comes the field goal unit. This will be a long-range attempt, 51 yards out. And he knocks it right through the uprights. Boy, this guy has such a strong leg. No problem. Up into the net from 50-plus. So after the field goal, the kicker out there again to boot it away. Fielded in the end zone. It's law. Tackle at the 13. Not great field position to start the drive. Here comes the Alabama offense onto the field. This offense trying to bounce back the last possession and then in a pick. They're going to run it. Bites off a defender. Uh, they test the middle of the defense but get nothing. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. And now the running back's got it again. But a quick stop by the defense. Game just two, so it's third and eight. They come to the line. A long way to go for the first down, but needing this crucial conversion right now. On third down, he drops to throw. Oh, downfield catch made on the left side. Tackle made after a big game. Alabama getting set for the first and ten now. An inside give now from the shotgun. Tackle made after just a short game. Nice job here of controlling the line of scrimmage by this offensive line. The back does what he needs to do to get positive yards on first down. Quick throw. That's an RPO caught on the left side. He'll be taken down, but he crosses midfield at the 48. You know, Chris, you think about it. Efficiency has always kind of been the description of a great Alabama quarterback. Man, think about the playmakers that they've had over the last few years at this position, Jalen, Tua, Bryce Young recently, just a different level of quarterback play and really gives this offense an edge to it. That roughing the passer gives the offense a first down. This Alabama offense is moving quickly down the field.
And it's incomplete. The defender arrived the same time as the football. And now it's second down. Well, I'm a big fan of the RPO, but it is a dangerous play for the quarterback. you got to make the right decision. And on this play, it just seemed like he was a little hesitant, unsure, and it cost him here with an incompletion. They're backed up here, trying to make something happen on third and long. Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. Oh, and it's incomplete and very nearly intercepted. They waste an opportunity for a much-needed takeaway there. Looks like the coach decides to go for three points here. Here comes the field goal team. And it's good right down the middle. And they add to their lead. Well, Chris, it's a nice kick here to polish off that drive with at least three points up on the board. After adding to an already big lead, they'll kick it away here and just try to close the game out. Doesn't bring the kick out. Touchback. They'll start at the 25. Offense comes up to the line. They might have a chance for a couple more plays before the quarter expires. They start the drive with a quick throw to the right. Bulldozing his way through those tackles. Heads out of bounds after a solid gain, more than enough to pick up a first down. Let's check out this running back comparison. These guys have been excellent, pounding away and seemingly only getting stronger. So one final quarter to play. It's going to take a lot to turn this game around, but strange things do happen in college football. On first and ten, they'll look to throw it. He's running out of time here. Couldn't find anybody open and just has to throw it away. Incompletion makes it second down. Dropping back. It's back. And the ball is hauled in. The defense all over it. They stop it right at the line. What will the call be on third and long now from the 44? Dropping back, they're going to throw for the first down. Looking to set up a screen pass here. The tackle is made, but there's a flag on the field. See what that's about. Oh. Oh. Offense moving backwards after that holding penalty. Important third down play coming up. Looking to throw yet again. That's caught. It's Love it. Chris, here we are in the fourth quarter. These guys are trailing. Had been a great day, but with this quarterback, he's as gifted as anybody in the country. You never count these guys out. Finds his receiver. That's enough for the first down. Breaks clear. End zone ahead. They make the tackle, but he easily gets first down yardage, and the drive keeps going. Well, Chris, here's an example of what we always talk about. On fourth down, the receiver's got to run a route beyond the sticks. Great awareness to know exactly where he is. Quarterback makes the throw, and he runs it into the end zone. Touchdown, Bulldogs. Well, that's an example right there of what vision and patience and ability can do for running back. He was on a mission to get into the end zone, and really, he made it look easy. Now the try here for the extra point. PAT is good. They still trail, though. Kickoff team is on the field to boot this one away. Bringing it out. It's Law. It'll be tackled right at the 20. That's a good job by the coverage team. So here comes the Alabama offense back onto the field. They got points on the board last time thanks to a long-range field goal. We're gaining some breathing room now. Tackled at the 26. Now I like to run play here. And offensively, at this point in the game, you want to remain in that attack mode first. 
while also staying in bounds and working that clock. Quarterback still with the football. They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. Well, the quarterback does everything right except pitch the football. The defensive end's going to take him, which is great. That's what you want. But you got to get... And he lofts it toward the left sideline. And this is dropped. Would have been a huge game, but he could not collect it. Punt team ready to boot it away. And the returner elects to fair catch it. No return. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? Looking to throw. It's back. To screen pass complete to the running back. And he's brought down. Good job by the defense getting through the blockers. But we stop short of the first down. That completion makes it second and medium. Quarterback drops back. He lets it go on the move. And it's complete downfield. Not much after the catch, but it is good enough for a first down. Hey, it's a nice game here, and they get the first down to stop the clock. But late in the game, trailing by a couple scores, these receivers have got to be thinking about getting out of bounds as often as they can to preserve that clock to give them a real shot to come back to win it. On first and ten here, looking to throw the ball. Short pass, finds the tight end. Tackle made after a nice pickup on the play. The dogs will hustle to the line to run the hurry-up offense. From inside the red zone, they're looking to throw. Defense is coming after him. Just gets the pass away, but took a shot that time. I mean, this defense is having their way with this offensive line. That poor quarterback doesn't have a chance. Every time he drops back to throw, he's getting ear hole. You better make some adjustments up front to give your poor quarterback a chance. And he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. And here comes the noise. This crowd is trying to inspire this defense to make a big red zone stop. Pulls it in. It's Evans. They make the stop just short of the first. Looks like inches to go, and now fourth down. Quarterback drops back from the shotgun. He's got it near the end zone. They bring him down, but not before he gains first down yardage. The Dogs looking to finish the drive here. It's first and goal. Dropping back. It's back. Oh, and it's incomplete. He flat out dropped what would have been a touchdown. Second down coming up now. That's a second and goal play for the offense. Caught in the backfield. It's ETN. He makes it to the end zone. Touchdown, dogs. That's a crucial score, Kirk. Makes it a one-possession game and makes the stretch run of this very interesting. Yeah, now the pressure turns to their opponent and their offense. The momentum is starting to tilt, and it's your job to go into your four-minute offense. But I'd expect this defense to be extra aggressive to try to get this ball back. Extra point try coming now. PAT up and good. They get a little bit closer. Here's the kickoff team now, set to boot this one away. Fields it inside the five-yard line. The returner is brought down. Gets a starter on the next drive. Alabama's offense coming back onto the field. One more first down should do it, but remember, the defense has all three timeouts remaining. Quick throw by the quarterback off the RPO and uses his speed to pick up solid yardage. We head now to the two-minute warning as this offense tries to bleed out the clock and secure this win. They'll use that running game trying to bleed the clock here. And now a timeout taken by the defense trying to preserve as much clock as possible for their offense. Second down after that run on the previous play. From the shotgun, here's an inside give. And brought down at the line by that big defensive tackle. 
And now it's the defense that calls timeout here, trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. Offense been in reverse here. Now a long way to go to convert this third down. Looking to throw, it's Milrow. But they don't connect. It's incomplete, and it brings up fourth down. Leading here late in the game, they'll keep the offense on the field, trying to keep possession and stretch the lead. Looking to throw for the first down. Quarterback looking to scramble. And now a timeout taken by the defense, trying to preserve as much clock as possible for their offense. Alabama getting set for the first and 10 coming up. Well, a really entertaining game. Kirk came right down to the end. They made the clutch plays, and that made the difference. Well, we knew these teams were fairly evenly matched, and you really saw them go back and forth, trade blow for blow. Excellent team win by these guys, doing what they had to do in the final quarter to come out on top. And that is going to wrap it up. We enjoyed this one here. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Chris Fowler, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.